Top of the morning to you. Actually, it's uh, it's actually almost noon. <laughs> it was raining out there. We got a winter storm or something, but uh, maybe I'll have some time. I can go and do some whipping. Anyway, thought I'd post this video. It's a quick rundown on the last uh, things I've done so far. Uh, like I said, uh, I uh, this is WWJ Whipping with Joe. I started the YouTube in 2012 with the, uh, a gift from my kids, my three kids, Jennifer, uh, Jocelyn, and my son Chris. Give me a head cam, a contour room, and I've been using that ever since. I, I told them I was going to make them wedding videos, and uh, they said no. Um, uh, they wanted me to make videos for my grandchildren on fishing. That's how I got started to do YouTube, actually. <laughs> but anyway, thought I'd share that with you. Anyway, I got the number of reels over here, but I've been field testing a whole bunch lately. Um, I'm not sponsored by any manufacturer, which is a reel manufacturer, or a rod manufacturer, or a lure manufacturer. I'm not endorsed by anybody. I don't endorse anybody. I just field test them, and I say it the way it is. And uh, got some good reels and got some bad reels, but uh, that's, that's part of the market. Uh, if you don't fish like me, I always tell people, you know, I go through a lot of reels. Uh, it's because of the way I fish. Uh, I maintain all the reels the same, and uh, they basically fail because of the gearing. But I, I thought I'd share this with you as well. It's a short clip, anyway. This is a Pen 714 Zulu that I bought in 1977. I put braid, I tried braid, but it's not going to work. I got to go back to 8 pound test mono. Uh, because uh, this is only a 7 pound drag here, so I'm going to have to do, do it over. But anyway, I had 5 of these for uh, the 3 kids, and then and, and, uh, the wife wanted to fish too, so we all had one of these reels to go fishing with. Anyway, I, but I came back, uh, been all over, went to two times in Europe, went fishing all over the place, caught a whole bunch of bass and well, I went to the states anyway been all over the world actually like I said 1977 and then in 1990 I came back to Hawaii and then actually started fishing still using this reel and then you know went conventions um starting actually in 2009 to catch more actually I was catching more with this this little reel and then I uh, met Jeff Conn in 2012 and he introduced me to this Daiwa SS so I went to three of these, by the way, I liked it when I first started, I liked it. Went to three of these, it was good, and then I went to the 1600s. But then anyway, I went to a whole bunch of different reels, but I share these because that's the first two that I started off with. Um, <clears throat> we got the Osprey from Fishing Florida Products. Uh, I recommend the CE 4000. Uh, they have the saltwater version. Uh, and um, I, I, I like it, I like the ball, by the way. So anyway. Uh, so we went field test that guy there, but uh, you can check my YouTube for that. Then we had the Pissifon, you know, I have a lot of fun with it. Um, the Carbon X failed, and uh, I'm trying to get ports, or so trying to send repair, they wouldn't, don't, I'm still waiting for ports. First it was a label, they didn't send me a label, they didn't say about it, I thought they would send me a label so I could send it back to them. But unfortunately in the, in the, in, in the United States, or maybe in Hawaii, there's no support for the Pissifon company. So I was still testing that that field, and I was going to do that one there right after that. And this is still good. Um, I, I'm still field testing actually, uh, but then I, I, I still have I still haven't got parts for this one. It's been about two months now. I still haven't parts for bearing on that one there. I started field testing down there, then I quit. Um, the reason is because uh, I, I didn't do Viper X 5000, and the reason is because um, there's no support for Pisifin, so I didn't want to go and. You know, uh, do something in, in, in Hawaii, especially, and then you're gonna buy something and you don't have support. So that went on the wayside. Then, anyway, I went to Casking. Uh, Casking, um, what we had the Eagle, and the Eagle failed. So um, they sent me a label. I sent the label back uh, with the reel. I just sent it back yesterday. And then I went to the Cadence, and um, the Cadence is bad. And uh, oh, by the way, the Casking. There's two, uh, there's three options. I can get a refund, repair, or replacement. And I told them that I wanted the refund. The cadence, this is what, this is what's doing. Okay. Anyway, I emailed them. I, I sent a video of it, and they said they, what they did was they're gonna send me another reel. Uh, so they're not repairing it. Um, so anyway, that's a four thousand. Anyway, uh, that's the most recent one, casking in four thousand. 
Um, I'll be field testing the cadence um, or the, yeah, the, the cadence stout. Um, I'm currently field testing the uh, Sharky. But anyway, yeah, then we went into the Inspirers. Um, for the Okumas, I had 12 Okumas. And basically this Okuma here has got 40 hours. Basically, he's got, he's got over 20 hours of cranking two ounce lures. And it has yet to fail. <laughs> it's uncanny. <laughs> Smooth. Just to tell you, 40 hours. No issues. This is seven hours. When you put a lure to it, it's hard to crank. So uh, um, we will see. Since you sent me a new one, I'll probably take it apart and actually see if there's any grease in there. Maybe there's no grease in it. Um, that's what happened to the Ospreys. I said it was hard to crank after, uh, I mean, maybe 40 something hours, 43 hours, I think. And it was out of lube. Um, so that was a problem with that one. The reason why I have a blue one here is because the white one is white and blue. The difference between these two is this was made in 2015 by the sale number. And the sale number, this one there is made in 2017. So this is the newest ones, I would think, because of the date, two years difference. Same technology, but one's a white and one's a blue, but that's what I found out anyway. Um, all, all the whites are basically that I got is, is, is um, made in 2015, and these ones here are all the same batch, same like, and it, that's all in 2017. Anyway, uh, I thought I'd share that with you. Sorry I don't have the Sharky, which I'm field testing right now. Uh, so far I've got like I think it's like 16 hours and it's cranking good so I, I, I don't have it here it's in my car on, on, on top of the rod <laughs> and of course this is well this, this is the one that started in 2014 this is as far this is what I recommend out of 60 or I mean, I'm, I'm field testing 65 right now out of 65 reels so far this is still top dog 355 hours before failure and the failure was the roll of bearing in here They've since then changed the ruler bearing um, because they, they, had, they had an issue here that I, I um, that the people who used these I bought this in 2014 and the, the ruler bearing was was failing and then they so then they had to get bearings and now the bearings as far as I know when you order the bearing it's actually actually comes from Thailand just to tell you so I'm not sure where the original bearings came from but smooth by the way this is still top dog okay so anyway this video is on. <laughs> Um, number six, uh, 66, real number 66. Sorry, it took me so long, but anyway. And 66 is under this box here, and I made a contest on it. I should have given off a reel of this guy here because I thought it was pretty funny. I mean, it, this is a funny video, I think so, anyway. But uh, so this is this is a this is the one, this will be the most expensive reel that I've basically purchased. Most expensive one, the next one below this was basically the salt text but that was a production model I didn't pay for that that was given to me by the tsunami company to field test them uh, and that one that one went for 125 hours this is a production model that failed but anyway so this is tops now we got another one here by the way there's a new one inside a new spheres so if you want the spheres I got them on Kauai we got a lot of stuff on Kauai anyway a lot of Okumas a lot of spheres all this stuff here is just up to you. I mean, they, 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 these are all for sale. You, you know, it's, it's on my web page. It's on Craigslist, whatever. But anyway, now we're gonna see the top dog. Not the top dog, but so they say the top dog. Well, now next the top dog. But this is a contest here. So got this in the mail. How oh, you like that? So if you wrote down on my contest. The item number is TP5000 SW for saltwater BXG. I'm not sure what that means, but anyway, the SW knows is a saltwater reel. So I'll give you the specs of this one here. I had to write it down. Okay. This one here is 6.2 to 1 ratio, 41 inches per crank. You can put there, I suppose, in braid the, um, 175 yards of. Well, 175 yards of 40 or, or 40 pound braid. Um, it's really small, actually. Uh, if you can only put 40 braid, if you put 50, it'll be about 150 yards, I think. But I'm not sure. You're gonna have to crank and, and see how many, how much 
50 he's going to put inside here because I wouldn't normally put 50 pound test inside here 50 pound breed power pro uh, I'm currently still testing the casking right now um, anyway it's got uh, 11 plus 1 bearing and it's 14.8 ounces 15 ounces which is 2 ounces less than that that's 17 I'm not really sure what's in the box, you know, you get free brochures and all that kind of stuff, but I just, everybody does that unboxing thing, but thought I'd just share this with you. Love the ball. The reason why I love ball, the ball handle is because when you crank two ounce lures, you know, when you're cranking two ounce lures with a small little paddle, man, you know, this hurts. Because it's so small, you know, it's with a paddle, and you're trying to crank two ounce lures down. It don't work too well. I mean, I've done it, and it, 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 it hurts right inside here. So that's why I prefer ball. A ball handle and this ball handle for the Shimano 6000 is really heavy this ball is heavy this is real light you got all the technology you can read about you can read about it. I'm not going to tell you what this thing has but it's a twin power twin power it's smooth it is smooth for sure. Oops. Well, it's new yet, so we don't want to crank. Probably just want to handle it. No crank. Oh, well, you know, I just noticed something. <laughs> you, know, you don't have an anti reverser, but that's okay. At least this one here, you don't have the manual bail, though. It's interesting. I, I, I thought you would have a manual bail on this guy. Let's see if this thing will turn. Oh, it's hard to turn, so that's a good thing. So you don't have premature bail, uh, close build. So you, you know, normally when you touch one one of the wheels, it'll, it'll just whoosh, and lock up where it's gonna click over. Yeah, so this has a automatic bail. Yeah, cool. Like that, eh? All right, oh. Okay, gang. So again, twin power, five thousand SW. I think it's the newest 